Hey guys, welcome to Bookish Islander. My name is Juan and today I'm here to do the mid-year book freak out tag. Um, I've no idea who created this tag, um, but I know that um, my namesake Juan from Just One Reader opened it to anyone. I mean, he did tag a few specific um, booktubers and I'm linking to his video in the description box. So if you want to see his tag or also see the people who he tagged, you can go and, and check it out. Um, but he opened the tag, so I decided to tag myself in. So they are um, 15 questions about uh, what I've been reading and getting up to um, this year so far. So let's start. So the first question is the best book you've read so far this year. And that has to be Ethan Frome by Edith Wharton. I actually uh, reviewed this book, so if you want to see my thoughts, I suggest you go check out that video. Um, you know, it's a while since I read it. I think I read it, like, probably around three months ago. Um, but I remember thinking that it was just a perfect, a perfect book, you know? Um, it's not the best book I've ever read, um, but I just thought this... You know, I've had this feeling very few times that is, you know, I'm reading a book and I think this could just not be written in any better way. It's just not possible to improve on this. So that's Ethan from for me. Uh, the second question is going to be real quick because it's the best sequel you've read so far this year and I haven't read any sequels. I don't really read cycles or series, it's not something that I do. So yeah. And that hasn't changed so far in 2019. So question number three is a new release you haven't read yet but want to. And I think that's probably going to be... I have two, actually. I have the Overstory, um, which I've only heard good things about. Um, so, you know, I'm curious about it, but somehow not curious enough to have picked it up yet. But I think I will read it at some point. I'm a bit wary of new releases. Um, often I'm disappointed. Um, and I don't buy into all the hype. And when I do, and I yield to it, I just end up being disappointed. So that's why I haven't read it. But I will read it, I think. And then there's another book called Pisces. And uh, this is more of a mixed bag in terms of um, how people have reacted to it, but I'm still curious to read it and I, I think I will at some point soon. Um, next question is most anticipated release for the second half of the year? You know, a lot of what I've just said answering the previous question applies to this. I'm not really looking forward to any releases. I would probably say like the sequel to um, to The Handmaid's Tale that's coming out in October. But, I, you know, it'd be a lie to say that I'm looking forward to it, but it's the only release that I can think of that I might be mightly interested in reading. Um, next question is, what's your biggest disappointment? So let me just look at my uh, reading challenge on um, Goodreads. And let me just say that if you don't follow me on Goodreads, you should, because I don't talk about... I don't even talk about most of the books I read on this channel because I just read too much, I think. I think I actually read too much. So if you want to see what I read and keep up with it and and whatever, you should go follow me on Goodreads and you'll find the link to that in my channel description. But anyway, let me just look at it real quick. And the biggest disappointment... I mean, there have been quite a few. Uh, I've recently been reading some books from the Canary Islands and I've been and I've been really disappointed by a couple of them, which I have here. Um, so let me just bring them to you. These are the two books that I've been most disappointed in. They're both by the same author, Juan Manuel Garcia Ramos, and one of them is called El Inglés and the other one is called Malaquita. You probably don't know anything about them because unfortunately, uh, literature from the Canary Islands is not that well known, even within the um, the Spanish-speaking world, let alone in translation. But these books, particularly this one, Malakita, is so experimental that I just couldn't get along with it. I just just felt like um, 
it just felt like mental masturbation in the worst possible way. And this one is less experimental and I can see what he was trying to do with it, but I still didn't get it. And there's not a lot of point in me talking about them because you've probably never heard of them, but now you have. Um, and yeah, I think those were the biggest disappointments. And funnily enough, I, I've read them very recently. Um, what's the biggest surprise? Um, I think I was surprised about... I think I was surprised at how much I enjoyed reading Edith Wharton. I read a few of her books earlier this year, including, you know, Ethan Frome, which I loved. And I liked all of them. And uh, yeah, I was surprised. I don't know why I was surprised, but yeah, that was a big surprise for me. Um, favorite new author, debut or new to you? Um, I think, well, it's definitely not a new author, but I recently discovered uh, Brazilian writer Machado de Assis, and he's a 19th century writer, so he's definitely not new, and this, his novel Don Cachemujo, is, it wasn't even his debut novel, but I read this recently and I loved it and I loved it so much that I even reviewed this book on my channel in Portuguese. So if you understand Portuguese or even Spanish, um, I recommend you see my review of it. Um, but this is a writer that I'm so excited to read more of, you know, and that hadn't happened in a while. And it's a 19th century writer. And I think that comes to show that, you know, Read the classics, guys. Just read the classics because you just don't know what you might be missing. And yeah, some of them are dusty, some of them are boring. You know, I'm not one of those people who fetishizes, um, one of those readers that fetishizes the past and the 19th century or whatever. I really don't. Um, but this really surprised me. This was a great new book to me and... and, and, and a new author to, for me, so I want to read more by him, definitely. And he's been widely translated into Spanish, English, and any other major language. So if you're curious and don't read a word of Portuguese, you can go check him out in your language. Um, next question is newest fictional crush, and I'm gonna skip that, because I think that's just a really dumb question. Uh, number nine, newest favorite character. Um, I don't know. I, I don't have a... I, I couldn't think of any. That, that's really how I read and sometimes when I get tagged or I see tags, it's such a good insight into other readers' minds and how books are so wonderful that you can see them and you can read them and you can enjoy them for a lot of different reasons, you know? And, um, and you know, and I know that some people have favorite characters and they even get crushes on them or whatever or they really like them that's not how my mind works i don't think there's anything wrong with that i object to the term crush because i think that's dumb like i said but yeah I, I don't object if you have a favorite fictional character i just i just don't i just i would have to think i would have to pick up books and and focus on the characters to see if i like them and um because that doesn't come naturally to me, so I can't answer that question. Um, number 10, question number 10 is book that made you cry this year. No, very few books have made me cry ever. In fact, I can only think of one. Um, but I read that last year and I don't even remember the title. I just remember that it made me cry. Um, so yeah, no. Um, book that made you happy. Most books that I've read this year made me happy, uh, just because reading is such a happy activity for me. I've been recently a bit frustrated by the uh, kind of reading that I've been doing, and so I want to go back and find books that make me happy, which has made me think that maybe I should reread a little bit more. I tend not to reread that much, and um, so yeah, I have a couple of books lined up that I that are rereads, and I'm hoping that they will um, get me my mojo back. I'm not in a reading slump. I don't believe in that, um, and I'm, I'm still reading as much as I ever did. I'm just not recently haven't been enjoying myself as much as I would love to. So 
yeah, rereading books, I think it's going to make me happy. And if most things that I've read this year have actually made me happy. Uh, next question is, favorite book to film adaptation you saw this year? Um, no. I haven't seen any. Favorite review or favorite video? Yeah, favorite video you've made so far this year. Okay, this is my first year in Booktube. This is 2019. I'm filming this in June of 2019, so we're halfway through the year. Um, and I started my channel in uh, January. I don't have a favorite video yet. I think my videos are getting a little bit better. Um, I don't tend to go back and watch them. So um, I don't know if they're good or bad. I just can't. I just think it's so excruciatingly painful to watch oneself on camera and hear one's voice that, yeah, I haven't done that. So I don't know. I think I'm pretty, I'm very proud of uh, like my first video for just having the courage uh, to do it. And I'm proud of my recent video in Portuguese because it was the first time that I spoke publicly in Portuguese. Um, so yeah, I would mention those two, but I think my best videos are yet to come. Um, next question is, most beautiful book you've bought so far this year or received? And it's a book that I bought. I recently went to Lisbon on a trip uh, with my boyfriend and I bought this book. I bought a lot of books, but I bought this book called Sinais de Fogo, Fire Signals, or um, which is by a Portuguese writer called Jorge de Sena. So I thought it was a beautiful hardback edition and it's a big, thick book. Um, you know, I haven't read it yet. I will read it soon. I will get to it soon, but I think it's the most beautiful book that I've bought. Um, recently so let me just show you it a little bit better so you can appreciate it in all its glory yeah i think this is it and then the final question is what books you need to read by the end of the year and i don't need to read any books by the end of the year uh, there are a few books that i want to read by the end of the year including this and uh, doing some reading readings that i was referring to perhaps reading some more machado de Assis. Um, and yeah, there are a few books um, in Portuguese, in English and in Spanish that I want to get to by the end of the year, but I don't think that I need to read them. And anyway, so that brings me to the end, yes, of the mid-year book Freak Out Tag for 2019. Um, again, what can I say? I'm really happy that I decided to be on Booktube. I'm enjoying it. Um, it's it's been and it continues to be an experience and so if you like this video or any of the other videos on my channel if you want me to continue making videos in english in spanish and in portuguese please subscribe to my channel and also you know you can get notifications of what i'm doing and please leave a comment because i love interacting with uh viewers and readers uh, on my channel. And that's all for me. I hope to see you again very soon. Bye-bye.